All right, what's up, guys? As always, welcome back to another Wife of Battle versus Mario. And Let's see. Starts off with the Agron. All right, that's fair enough. So we could exchange rocks here, and that would be all the same. Because the thing is here, I didn't see any mod that made sense for Defunct besides Salamence. Damn, Agron looks great. I'm sorry, like, Agron for me is one of the, like, most awesome Pokemon ever. A superpower. That's, um, that's quite aggressive. I'm not sure that's gonna work for me. But with that in mind... I think my best play here is actually going for Rock Tomb and combine that with Earthquake afterwards because I don't want to bring him into study. Oh, he has Surf too? Ooh. Oh, this is a lad though. This is a lad. <laughs> I really hope I'm with low speed after minus one here because I don't want to put myself in the cussed up range just yet. That's a cool set. There's some type of anti-lead Agron, which I definitely can get behind. Though you see the more with Ice Beam. Or rather Ice Beam Agron is awesome. Man, the Gliscos have wasted their life on that one. Right, my opponent is really thinking about this. We are able to outspeed. So that's the risk he wanted to take. And yeah, what well, do you know? It actually works for me. Issue now, however, is that I'm not in cast up range, which will mean that unless I can get myself in there, um, I will not be able to explode into something like an anti response. I need, I need some type of chipping <laughs> to be able to make this work. Possibly. All right, let's find out what he wants to do. The thing is, I think Charizard is like a good enough switch in, but with Stealth Frogs, is a hard, hard play. Goes into Blastoise. Alright. I think Malekith is my best response. Really hope for a Skull play and not an obvious play, which would be uh, just Shell Smash. Right? Don't want to watch. Or Nice Beam would be nice. Hydro Cannon and misses. Ooh. Ooh. Hate to see it. Withdraws, fed off. Goes into Charizard, alright, four times resisted. That's gonna. It's gonna be a waste of my power. The dude connected, which is kind of alright. Um, definitely aren't hurting him. Question is do I have an opportunity here of actually. Like setting up Sylvester. Because I don't believe a flamethrower should bring me too bad down. Come on, Sylvester, I need that Salic Bear to kick in. Blast Bird, Jesus! You think that's enough? <sighs> oh, that's nasty. Alright. Unless he has some type of priority or a scarfer, this should actually be a very good position for us. We're still Aura Grumping, however, so it's not like we're not overly powerful as one kind of want to be. But I feel that Gluttony as his ability to Salic Bear was kind of wasted on a Blast Burn. I was thinking maybe a Flavor and do around half HP, like that would make sense for me. But that was aggressive. Come on, buddy. Right. Now, I don't know how light Blastoise is, but we should definitely be able to hurt him with a Grass Nod. Yep. 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 Haven't seen a pig like this before, I'm sure. 
And if it helps, neither am I. I do believe we outspeed a Sceptile, and I do believe we outspeed a Salamence. However, I'm not sure a Psy Shock killed them. Or, I'm pretty convinced it won't, because, like I said, Sceptile is not necessarily that powerful. Night Base Special Attack isn't really... Psychic levels of insanity is just this, um... The nasty plot again helps it push that a little bit. Come on, mate! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <coughs> That's how it's done. Alright, at this point I feel kinda convinced we're we're all good. I did not expect to get a, a sweep here from uh from the grub pig, but as it looks, it seems to be quite decided. Oh no! Quick claw! That ain't right. That ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. I like it, but that ain't right. <laughs> Alright, Oracle. <laughs> Come on. Not again. Like, one quick claw is enough. Withdraws, it's fair enough. Goes into Ampharos, right? That's. Totally forgot about Ampharos. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> Ice people do. Yeah, nope. Though I think I can, I think I can pull this off. I just need to whittle him down, basically. <sighs> Freeze him? Of course not. Dragon pulse. That's cool. That's not gonna kill me though. She just bolted, mate. My plan is basically bring in Sceptile and try to wrap up. Fun- Oh, really? Who connects that anyway? I'm being serious. Actually, consider the situation. Maybe I should just lock myself into this guy. Get Intimidate, but I have Ice Punch. That should be plenty, and uh, consider it's Ampharos. There is a small chance we do outspeed it. Depending on my opponent's investment. Because I'm a speedy lad. Or as speed as Dust Noir go, which is necessarily not a lot, but it's definitely plenty for this guy. Oh, come on! I gotta deal with that too. Static and quick law and intimidate. Yeah, this could actually turn out quite ugly if it is a dragon dance set. At least it's not Moxie, so it's not the end of the world, but it um, it became slightly harder. Alright, let's see. Dracumitia. Fair enough. Gonna take this all right, I think. Ah, uh, uh, not really. Don't be crippled, mates. Yes, yes. There we go. Duskwad did it. So Grumpig should have done it. But that that said, as always, thank you for watching Mario. Thank you for the game, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.